fast. Immediate fast start. Forward pressure from Vukovic. Blue glove tape for him. Red glove tape for De Castaneda. Open up with a nice half kick, but now Castaneda's taking over with the Tuggies, which are strikes, hand strikes. Good fire start. One on the hold on the bicep of Vukovic from Spinola. He's holding the left bicep of De Castaneda. Castaneda's doing smart now. Fighting inside their leg reach of his opponent. That kick gets through from Vukovic. Wild start, furious and frantic start to this bout. No clinching, guys. It's yeah. no clinching. They just goes through a second round. I would like to see how they are. <laughs> De Castaneda, 2011 Shotokan European champion. He's trained extensively in MMA with one of Spain's mixed martial arts pioneers, oh. Anna Sarvis. So shots landed down by Vukovic. Now Vukovic fights no himself on the wall. There's no clinching right here. That's a great Fight. Quick restart, Wayne Spinola keeping this fight moving. Spinning back kick from Vukovic. Self highly accomplished, a member of Serbia's World Championship Karate Team in 2010. Don't clinch! Stop! Can they clinch? Stop clinching. Clean break. Hands high and tight. Milos Vukovic moving forward. See the Castaneda boss trying to work off of the jab. This was a super high start, I hope, a fast start. And I hope that they warmed up really well because if you're gonna get the second, you need to wait for the second win, that's trouble. Big swing and a miss from Dick Castaneda. Lands the right hand, does the Spaniard. 65 seconds remaining round number one. The Spaniard is all about his hands. And look at which about the legs. Nice timing there on that leg sweep. Two, slash, back leg. Get up. Castaneda with all of his MMA go, training, fight. very cautious to move in for yep. the round of pounds. Oh! Slipping on the spinning up, back up, kick. Up, 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 Vukovic up. does not pounce. Nice. Not sure if that was sporting or strategic from Vukovic, but he didn't flinch. Could have, did, it could have dove in as De Castaneda went down. Let, let go! That's it. Okay. Don't flinch again. Fight! Warning you heard from Spinola to De Castaneda's for excessive clinching. Nice back kick to the body there. So De Castaneda's cut on the outside of his brow. You see the smear of blood on the right side of his face. Yeah, he said that he's going to put on pressure. And then if he hurts his opponent, he's going to put on more pressure. Well, they started like that, but they slowed down significantly. Both fighters Hi. giving and receiving. Big in round number one. We're to round two. No worries on that cut. Not quite to the lid outside of the right brow in the face of De Castaneda from that fierce Vukovic kick in round number two. Yeah, for the people at home, you know when, when the cut is above the eye and the blood trickles in the eye, that's when they're going to stop the fight because it's, of course, it's bad for the Let's go, fight! Hard on the low kick. Well, it's like a, a leg sweep, it was Johnny no told him, sweep the leg. No you understand what I'm saying? Next time, taking a point. Let's go, fight. The push, the right hand. Next day, Castaneda actually took himself down for an angle and now paying the price. No shots for not getting through. And there you see the MMA training with Anox Solvis by Dave Castaneda. That's how you effectively defend on the ground. That's it, and you kept looking at his opponent. It's so important. Right out, let's go, let him go. Because the referee is looking at that. Take your eyes off it. There's fighters who actually put the thumbs up against the referee. Like, I'm okay, don't worry about it. Let him go. You know, Castaneda, every time when he attacks the head, what Vukovic does, he leans backwards. So when you shoot throws, the one she took, he's a long left hook and then a right straight as hard as he can to the body, to the solar plexus, because he's hyperextending his body, which will have tremendous effect if you need to hit him there. Heavy breathing suddenly from De Castaneda. Big low kick again, trying to kick out that front leg of Vukovic as De Castaneda. This is a fun fight. It's a fun fight, but you see what Vukovic does, he's leaning backwards all the time. And like that moment, you should watch out for that. Because a straight to the body can change the whole fight. Move it up there, move it up 
Vukovic boss coming forward with a purpose. You see that Castaneda angling out, now that wide open. That's what he said, you know. For the fight, he's to counter his opponent, but right now he's just coming forward. Vukovic called this. He said De Castaneda is incredibly explosive in round one, and then he said, I believe he's going to fade badly as we go into round two. And De Castaneda wanted to throw a back fist, but Vukovic saw it and he simply stopped him from turning. That was nice. Overhand right, misses the mark from De Castaneda. Vukovic has settled this fight into his rhythm and his tempo. Right straight liver shot. That would be my combination right now if I had to fight Vukovic because he's leading back. He has to watch out for that. Ten seconds. Final seconds, round number two. Much different round two than we saw in round number one. Milos Vukovic trying to take control, and this is karate combat debut. So a lot of fight left on Igor Dean Castaneda. We're heading to the third and final round. Roxy, thank you very much. John Cleese, such a cinematic bad guy. Well done for Martin Kova. I have a, he's here. I have a signed picture from him where he says, sweep the leg, it's signed like that. It's really nice. He was on the inside of the one time. Third and final round, we go of this really entertaining light heavyweight bout. Igor de Castaneda of Spain versus Milos Vukovic of Serbia. Looking there for Castaneda. Castaneda did a great job just a moment before. He didn't let himself get locked up in the corner. He moved out there. Short right hand yeah. for the Serbian Vukovic. That connected heart. Landing that right hand. Vukovic could be a bad guy in a, in a movie. <laughs> the bad Russian. You were saying he looked a lot like Ivan Drago. You know, yeah, he's got that, that aura around him. Especially on the table of the tape picture. Let's go. Let's go. Right. He's definitely a better striker than Dolph Lundgren in Rocky IV, I will tell you that. Hold him. Big right hand on the cutback from the Castaneda from the left hand. A nice job. Come on. Throwing Come on. straight. Release him. And connecting with it. Yeah, Vukovic, tired, but that's where the heart takes over. Vukovic now firing back. Quick separation from Spinola, keeping this fight moving. Don't hold him. Don't hold him. Both guys are tired right now. They have to pick their shots. Let the opponent miss and counter. That's your best bet right now. Nice right landed on the jaw of Castaneda. Right hand lands. Let's go, let's go. Fight. Fight. Slow kick, slow corner, still connecting. Wild swing though from De Castaneda. You see the blood flowing freely. Cut. His right brow was opened up by that Vukovic kick in round number one. 65 seconds remaining in this fight. One minute. Take a deep breath. And go. That's what I would suggest. Right back kick. Both fighters looking for one more really significant clean strike loss. Yeah, but a, a kick like that when you're tired, using the big muscles from the legs, it's just too slow. That strikes would be the better option. Nice right hand landed by Castaneda there. Right hand definitely getting through the striking guard. And Castaneda almost just falling down the wall. Up, let's go. Up, up, up. That looked a lot like exhaustion. Yeah. Not a short right left ever, Vukovic. A lot of arm punches now from De Castaneda. What a big right hand! Wow, Castaneda, man. Nobody can say he does not have heart because he just keeps on fighting while his body is telling him I want to stop. Vukovic taking himself down. You see those are arm punches, though, on the arms of Vukovic. Defending that well to the back.